Hey guys, today I want to talk about the Sniper Mindset. This is hands down the best sniping game I've ever had. And I've been learning a lot about how to be more consistent with my sniping and general crucible game. So that's where these tips will lie, right in between there. This is a double-edged sword because you have to reach a point in your mind where you're not really thinking about actually sniping people. You have to let your muscle memory do the job. And when you think about your movements, you interrupt that reaction time and your muscle memory doing the work for you. But everyone has habits, whether good or bad. So at this moment, you, if you're not that great at Crucible, you have a ton of bad habits that your muscle memory and your instincts are all tied to. So you have to rewire them to good habits. So you have to think about what you're doing during those moments to get to a point where you don't have to think any longer. There's a term in Japan called a mushin. Uh, they use it for mostly for if you're training for kung fu for years and you reach a point where all your training, all all of the work that hard work that you did, you no longer have to think about you know punching that guy or kicking that guy your muscles your body automatically do it through instinct because you trained all those years that's the point that you want to reach in your crucible game in general and your sniping this is also tied to how to be more consistent you see everyone I think has had those really amazing games where you were just on point and you don't know why you don't know what you were doing and it always seems to be at that odd time when you're like on the phone or you're talking to somebody in the room it's because your muscle memory is doing the work that means you got most of the work down already if your muscle memory is doing you well when you're not focused you're pretty much halfway there but you can you have trouble tapping into those skills every game that you enter this is something that I've dealt with for a long time so I'm gonna tell you here how you can tap into it every single game that you do the secret is pretty simple but very difficult to master I guess and that's you gotta stay in the moment you can't worry about the past if a guy took you out and you didn't like how it was done you're like oh my god I can't believe he took me out that way oh this shot here this guy he uses hard light to try and bounce bullets as I ran away so I thought that was cool I was waiting for him to come out and then I decided to put this guy to sleep <laughs> I just thought that was funny yeah he stays in that corner for a while uh you want to stay in the moment so you don't want to think about the past about when you died you gotta let it go and you don't want to think about the future let's say you see a guy around the corner with on with on radar and you're deciding to yourself should I snipe him should I primary should I grenade uh, if you decide to snipe uh, am I gonna hit this guy am I gonna hit him in the head you're not staying in the moment it's such a subtle shift that you barely even notice but you got to recognize it and you got to get yourself out of it and get back in the moment don't think about it do it now, like I said, this is a double-edged sword because in order to get to that point where you're not thinking about it, you need to create good habits first. So once you do this, once you uh, get your good habits down, then you can rely on your muscle memory and your instinct. That's the goal is to get your instinct uh, on point. Now this here, I'm like, yeah, let me hit him in the head. Uh, that did look like a headshot to me. So some actual techniques to help you get better. Uh, the biggest one of the biggest ones I could say is uh, pay attention to your setup. I try to always, before engaging in a gunfight, set up my exit. You could run into a couple guys around the corner. You could be losing health faster than the other guy. Whatever it is, you need to be able to escape. If you put yourself in the corner of the room and then try to run at the last second, you're not going to get away. You need to have some kind of cover or some kind of exit to where you are able to clearly run away and get away. Cover isn't always the best answer because enemies can throw grenades at whatever cover you're in. So it's, you definitely want to just clearly run away if, it, if it's not working out. Also, um, like what I just did there, settle for the body shot if you're having trouble getting the headshot. Follow up the primary or another sniper shot to the body don't always go for the headshot watch this this was a golden gun around the corner I didn't think I would actually pull it off and 
it actually wasn't even a headshot. I was just lucky that uh, they lowered his health before he came around the corner. So be mindful of your setup before engaging in gunfights with other people. Some obvious setups for snipers is you want to aim at head level before you even scope in. Reducing the amount of adjustment that you have to make on someone's head is is definitely a defining factor of a good sniper versus a bad one. Because if you, I mean, just think about it in an extreme situation. If you're facing right and the guy's on your left, if you scope in and try to rotate, you're not going to reach him. Now, obviously, that's an extreme example, but it illustrates my point that the closer, the less adjustments you have to make, the more likely you're going to land that headshot. So get used to aiming at head level and in the general direction of your enemy before you scope in. That way, you only have to make a horizontal adjustment versus a vertical one. Now, sometimes you will have to make the vertical adjustment. It's fine. You just want to, your goal is to reduce the amount of adjustment. Right, right there. I, I, I'm not that great at the strafing, like if they're a side, hitting a side target, if they're going sideways. So I just opted for his knee, just to leave him at one shot. So I guess that's it for today, guys. I, I have lots more to talk about when it comes to sniping and improving your sniping game and general crucible game. So I'll be making more videos like this in the future. If you have any requests for anything that you might need help on, I'll do my best to answer your questions. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Does any of this even make sense to you? I really tried to articulate it in a way because we are talking about the mind and the consciousness a little bit. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.